Hello everyone and welcome to Bumpy. So today I have a fun video for you. I'm going to be doing three hauls that I've done. I've done 99 cents. I've gone shopping, thrift store here in my local neighborhood. And also I did an estate sale. So let's get started. Let's start with the estate sale. With the estate sale, uh, everything here was $13. And when I went to go pay, they didn't take any of the uh, plastic cards, so cash only. So I told her to hold the items for me and that I would be back once I went to the bank. And I only had $5 cash, so she said, just give me what you got and Merry Christmas. So for all these items, I just paid $5. So I got this really cute rocking horse, and then I got this cute little tin and then this is from Avon a little porcelain candle teacup with the Santa on one side and ho 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 on the other this vintage kitchen tool that I collect and I don't know what this is used for so if you know please comment below these Bali vintage measuring cup and I believe the whole entire set is here. Okay. So I got these. And then I got this real nice cutting board. And it's flat on one side and then it has to cut the bread on the other side. So and then I got this which is so beautiful. This is a piece of burlap. And from what I see, it's probably a tablecloth. And it's all been hand embroidered, as you can see. And I thought this was really pretty. I thought this was really special. And you, I love burlap. Yeah. Okay. So that's what I got at the estate sale. And then at the 99 cent store, I got packages of curl for some pillows that I have in mind and then I got these little Santas with the tree and the little trucks I got two in red and two in green so I got four of those and then I got these cute little bags Santa bags that I thought would be cute to make into pillows for the grandkids okay and that's it for the 99. And then I went to the thrift store and I got these items from the thrift store. I got this little chihuahua that looks just like my dog. Um, it's a Yo Quiero Taco Bell Christmas Chihuahua. And this was a very famous commercial for Taco Bell. Some of us know it, have seen the commercial and remember. And then I got this pillowcase for 75 cents. And I paid a dollar for the Chihuahua. And then I got this placemat for 75 cents. And then I got these two placemats for a dollar a piece. And I plan to make pillows out of these. I plan to cut them open, add for a curl, and then insert all my pillows. Okay, and then I got this plaid one for 75 cents. And then I got five of these for a dollar. And I've already made pillows out of two of them. These were not the ones that you could open. So I did have to use two of them and I just added for a curl and then I can just swap them out and then when it's time to put them away I just put away the the mats and not the pillows okay and then I got this matting here for 50 cents a piece and I think I'm going to use these for those Santa bags to make pillows okay and then I got these vintage tools that I'm obsessed with each of these were 75 cents. So here you go. 
nice wooden handle. Very good, clean condition. And I got this little whip whisk, I think. I got this really nice vintage handle holder for 75 cents. Then I got this beautiful topiary apple berry pine cone tree. So I looked it up and they're expensive if you buy them brand new. This one has broke. I guess that's why they sold it for three dollars so I couldn't wait anymore and I added a little bit of burlap I have to finish it and then see where I'm gonna place it and then I got this really cute apple tin for 75 cents And then my neighbor had given me this just natural wood paper towel holder and I thought when I was at the thrift store that this would actually look cute for Christmas paper towels so I'm gonna go ahead and glue that. And then I got this vintage glass rolling pin with a tin cap. And I believe in the 1800s, they used this and they would put water and ice to roll the dough and use it that way. So this was a cool find. And they're about $30 on eBay, so I looked it up. So I hope you like my haul. That is it. Now let me get busy, put the stuff where I want to place them, and then I'll give you a quick tour of where I placed it. So this is where I place uh, the apple topiary and I just set the apple tin right next to it and I'll give you a backup here so you can see how I set it up with all my apple collection. I have a wooden box over here with some mason jars and then my vintage, I think it's a potato onion keeper over there and then here's the wall so that's where I placed the topiary so the rocking horse I placed it in front of this plant in the living room by my hot beverage cart right over here and I set that little Santa on it. And the uh, vintage utensils I placed in here for right now with my vintage collection, as you can see. And that's right here on the stove. Guys, where we live, there's a lot of rabbits. So my dad makes a buffet tray different vegetables for the wild rabbits. He enjoys feeding them every day. So he's got the, the buffet here ready for later this evening to take it out to them. There you go. They could turn out in a little tin. I placed them over here on this shelf that I have in the kitchen with other Christmas decorations that I have. rolling pin I placed in this wooden crate that I have here with other vintage things that I um, collect so as you can see here it is and you know I'm not sure that I like that rolling pin at least not there with my other wooden stuff I gotta think about that one I um place the Taco Bell Chihuahua over here with an ornament that my grandson made for me a couple of years ago. I put it around his neck that has his name on it, Rocco. 
and place the little red truck right here on this little uh, plate that I have with some cinnamon sticks and a candle. So I wanted to show you. So here is the bird lap tablecloth. Guys, you're going to see my cat and my dog running around because it's playtime for them. And I've been waiting for them to calm down. And they're not. So I'm just going to do the video. So excuse my Rocco and my Rika. Okay, so here are the little felt bags that I got at 99. And I put that filling in them and made them little pillows. And then here's the bat bird lap tablecloth. And I just made it as my couch cover here. Right over here, as you can see. So. Hi, Rika. Rika, where's Rocco? Do you want to go get him? <gasps> Rocco! Rocco, go get your Rika. Go get her. Rika. See, there's my Chihuahua. Doesn't he look just like that stuffed animal? But you can go get your sissy. She went that way. Go get Rika. You're going to go get your sissy. Go get Rika. Go get her, Rocco. Thank you so much for being part of this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click right here and do so. We have a lot of different uh, DIYs, uh, home tours, and just a lot of real life here. We're decorators, thrifters, haulers, you name it, we do it. So, have a good one and see you in the next one. How oh, needy. Love the way my paper towel holder turned out. So there I just glued the bigger piece with the Santa on it on the bottom. And then I did over here the top. So I think that turned out really, really cute. <laughs>